Hello friends. Today I would like to show you an experiment that was to determine which perlite is best for sprouting adenium seeds. Long time ago I already found out that the perlite is better than other media because the other media are not sterile except vermiculite and vermiculite keeps moisture too much and air too little for the desert seeds like adenium desert plant for seeds of desert plants like adenium I also established long time ago that perlite where I sift away or washed out the dust works way better than if I don't. Again, it clogs up the pores. There is not enough air for adenium seeds likeness. But after I use the adenium and transplant the big seeds to something else, to individual pots. I just use the use perlite as an ingredient in a mixture um, for big plants. And so I tried can I reuse use perlite for sprouting seeds. I was suspicious that that wouldn't quite work because it's no longer uh, sterile. Well, the experiment showed what I assumed. That was my one of my two experiments I want to report on today. I divided, I put third of seeds here, they sprouted well, third into used Perlite, very few sprouted and gradually were dying. Here is the last one dying, the rest are already not alive. And another third, which was my another experiment, I put into perlite that has a way bigger particles than the size of adenium seeds. You can see them here. I purchased this great in hydroponic supplies store and they seems to be the same healthy like their siblings but a little bit less of them sprouted so the outcome is that it is not quite so good, it's a little bit worse, but the used perlite is the worst. Highly not recommended. But I'm not throwing it away, it costs money. I'm using it for big plants as a, one of the ingredients instead of um, cinder, some of it I use this. So I use less cinder in that, that mix, and that works perfect. Big old plants don't mind at all. And that's the end of my reporting and two experiments about which perlites are best. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Goodbye.